Okay, welcome to our second video on expanding using the dis distributive law. What we're going to do in this video, we're going to be expanding and simplifying using the distributive law. Okay, moving on, we're now going to expand and simplify. So what we're now doing when we expand and simplify, we're actually going to expand out maybe two, uh, two brackets using the distributive law, and then we're going to simplify using collecting like terms. Um, and then hopefully we should come up with a final answer there. So we'll look at a couple of examples. So we're going to expand and simplify. The first one is 5 brackets 3x plus 2, then plus 2 in brackets 4x plus 7. So if we have a look, for the first one we've got 5 times 3x and 5 times plus 2, so it equals 5 times 3x plus 5 times 2. And then we've got, here we've got plus 2, so plus 2 is, we've got plus 2 times 4x, and then plus 2, plus 2 times 7. So effectively, this was our first little, um, first little expansion, and this one was our second. Now, for that, we're not multiplying those, so I just want to... Um, just make that clear that those brackets don't need to be there. So now what we do is we're going to multiply them out. So 15x plus 10. Then we've got plus 8x. So 2 times 4x gives me plus 8x. And then I've got plus 14. Now I can see I've got some like terms. 15x and plus 8x. Are like terms because I've got x's in there and the powers are the same and the numbers plus 10 and plus 14 are the same so if I bring them together I get 15x plus 8x plus 10 plus 14 and that equals 23x plus 24 so you can see that we've started with this with this large expression here and then we've been able to simplify and you can think of simplifying there as like a funnel we're just bringing the larger expression down into its simplest form all right let's have a look at this one here and then we can finish off so we've got seven times three y and then we've got a plus times a minus so it's minus seven times five because we end up plus times a minus gives me a minus and now we've got minus 2 times 10 and minus 2 times 4y. So we've got minus 2 times 10. So minus times a plus is a minus. So we've got minus 2 times 10. Then we've got minus times a plus again. So we've got minus 2 times 4y. So if we multiply those out, we get 7 times 3y gives me 21y. Then minus 7 times 5 gives me minus 35. Then minus 2 times 10 gives me minus 20. And then minus 2 times 4y gives me minus 8y. Now what I want to do here is I want to simplify, I collect the like term, sorry. So 21y minus 8y, so that's that one and the term there. And then I've got minus 35 and minus 20. So I've got minus 35 minus 20. So now what I can do is I can actually um, add and subtract those like terms. So 21 take 8i, 8 8y, sorry, gives me 13y. And minus 35 minus 20, well we're starting at minus 35, we're going down 20 on the number line, so we end up at minus 55. Okay, so let's have a look at another, another example. Okay, now we have three brackets 4x plus 2y in brackets and minus 2x brackets 8x minus 7. So we're just going to expand this out and then simplify using those same rules we've just looked at. Okay, so if we just look at this, we expand this out. So that equals 3 times 4x. And then we've got plus 3 times plus 2y. So that's plus 3 times 2y. And now we've got minus 2x times plus 8x. So minus and a plus gives me a minus. So we've got minus 2x times 
8x, and then minus 2x times minus 7, so a minus and a minus gives me a plus, so plus 2x times 7. So if we just uh, simplify those, so 3 times 4x gives me 12x. Oops. We've got plus 3 times 2y gives me plus 6y. Then we've got minus 2x times 8x. So minus 2 times 8 gives me minus 16. And then we've got x times x, which gives me x squared. And then I've got plus 2x times 7, so I've got plus 14x. And now let's have a look through. Do we have some like terms here? Well, I'm just going to rewrite this x here because it was really hard to read. So we've got 12x. And we've got plus 14x. Now, do I have any other like terms? Y's. Well, is this a like term with this? No, it's not because it's got the power of 2. Okay, so what we're going to do is now we're going to collect those like terms. So we've got 12x plus 14x. And then we just write those last two terms at the end. Plus 6. Plus 6y minus 16x squared. So what we end up with is 26x plus 6y minus 16x squared. So you can see by expanding out our brackets and then simplifying, we're basically just getting getting out of that larger that larger expression and breaking it down into in, into its simplest form. And all we need to look for there is those little rules in expanding using the distributive law, collecting those like terms adding them or subtracting them together, and then simplifying that term. Okay, thank you for watching. Hopefully you got something out of that, and we'll see you next time.